You want to make things float? How about a robot to do your chores? Go hands-free POV? How about a mini vacation on your face? Want to blast it on your keyboard? What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for April already. The series we show off some pretty cool tech under that price. Got some new genre sort of stuff today, things that we haven't checked out before, so I'm pretty pumped. If you see anything you like, I'll have them all listed for you guys in the description down below so you can check it out. But also, shout out to last month's giveaway winners. I've been in contact with you, I commented on your comment from last month's episode. And if you want to win something from today, all you gotta do is drop a big thumbs up on the video, leave a comment down below on what your favorite item is and why you liked it. Then third, make sure you're subscribed because I'm obviously only gonna pick subscribers. Let's kick it off. First up is something that I think is really cool, and you may have already seen me tease this on some social posts. And no, this whole thing is not an optical illusion. This is a 360 degree floating, levitating stand for your desktop, or wherever you wanna put this really. And I know at first glance this seems like an editing trick, but what you're watching is all with no effects. The internal magnets inside would allow this to freely float, and it does so with its geometric base and mount that I think looks really cool when the light hits it at different angles as it spins. Getting it to properly lock into that magnetic sweet spot takes a few tries at first, but as you'll see in just a few seconds, you'll feel that force lessen once you have it properly positioned in the middle. It supports up to 300 grams in weight, and it's actually advertised as like a succulent or an air plan holder, but like I said, anything up to 300 grams is fair game. That means if you want to show off a pop figure, a favorite mouse, or a novelty peripheral, you can balance it right into the floating potter, and the top half of the geometric pot does come off if you wanted to use this with like wider items, giving you a really unique way to put things on display. The trickiest part is just finding that balance, not only with the magnetic base, but then also with whatever you're showing off. But once you do and you get the hang of it, I think it can really be a cool conversation starter and attention grabber. Even if it is for something like its intended use, a succulent or an air plant, really letting it live up to its name. Personally, I actually bought this to keep some of my graded slabs on display, but honestly, I can totally see someone keeping their mouse docked up here at the gaming setup. I don't know, I think it's a cool use case at least. The price for this does fluctuate if you check the listing. I got it for exactly $50 last month. Next might not be the most exciting thing, but if you ask me, a $50 automatic robot vacuum cleaner is a hell of a good deal. I think it'd be a really good pickup for your bedroom so your mom can constantly stop yelling at you to keep your bedroom clean. This will just do it all for you. With an hour's runtime, the robo vacuum from Serene Life travels around your bedroom or any room in the house you start this in and keeps those floors clean. Using the built-in sensors and the front bumper, it uses its surrounding area to know what edges or objects are in its way so it can reroute and clean the area effectively, saving you the time from vacuuming manually. This is a lifesaver if you have kids. Popping open that top plate reveals the internal chamber where all the dust, dirt, and garbage is held. This is actually from the very first time that I ran it down in my studio, which I do keep clean and vacuum pretty regularly, so I was surprised to see the amount of dust and just dog hair and just stuff that it picked up on the first hour. Included with this, you have a few extra things, like a bottom mop if you wanted to use this to clean some hardwood floors, four total sweeper brushes, a replaceable H10 filter, in a remote control that lets you switch between the different cleaning modes, from an edge cleaning mode to really focus on those floorboards, a focus cleaning mode that hammers down one area over and over, and then the auto mode, which I keep it on, which lets it go aimlessly and bounces around like a ping pong to keep the house clean. To give you guys a closer demo, I just drop some sprinkles on the studio floor as an example. It uses the rotary brushes to funnel everything towards the middle and sucks it up. I'd say about 95% of the way on the first run through. It does traverse from hardwood floor to carpet without getting stuck, as you can see. And again, it just works its way around the studio like an obstacle course, cleaning whatever area it runs through. It doesn't auto dock. You do have to charge this yourself with the included power adapter. So no crazy features like that. But for $50, this saves you time from vacuuming yourself. And now you can keep your room clean all by just pressing a button. Like I said, if you have little ones or pets, a quick run in the kitchen is clutch. And as history repeats itself far too often, unfortunately, uh, this was $50 when I picked it up. As you can see, the last few months, it was in stock for $60 and they had a $10 coupon, but it has been unavailable on Amazon the last few days from when I'm filming this. Now we have something that hopefully some of you can find useful. I know I do, which is why I bought it. And I figured, hey, might be a good fit for the series. 
This is a POV MagSafe neck mount for your phone, which lets you go hands-free for filming, streaming, and getting those true POV shots with ease. This just goes around your neck and snaps into the mount centerpiece, and with the built-in folding MagSafe ring, it lets you pop your phone on and hold it tightly in place. Now, just like that, within seconds, you can begin filming with both hands free, letting you get creative with your intended use for this, whatever that may be. Maybe you do car vlogs or car reviews and you wanna give viewers that POV peek behind the wheel. Maybe you create some cooking content. As nerdy as it sounds, I actually bought this to record proof of packaging up higher end Pokemon cards that I sell as like insurance, say in case the buyer tries to pull a scam on you. Well, nope. Here's the shipping proof, dummy. I also wanted to try this out with my whatnot streams. Since my tech streams are mainly like a static shot, I figured, again, with me selling some Pokemon cards on whatnot, that POV look in real time would be cool for the viewers so they could see the cards better. But use this for whatever POV content you want to film. That last clip was a joke. It's not what you think. Or was it? No, but <laughs> you... <laughs> You guys get what I'm saying. I think a $30 mount like this is really gonna let people tap into a relatively untapped market. Think about this. Instead of spending four, $500 for a GoPro, why not spend the $30 for a POV mount like this and use an extremely good camera that you already have with your phone instead? And now get those true hands-free POV shots and really start to delve into that untapped market of content that would otherwise be pretty hard to make. Like I said before, cooking videos, painting or drawing videos, gunplay assembly, all that kind of stuff that would otherwise be hard to make without spending four or $500 for a GoPro can now be made for 30 bucks. And speaking of Pokemon, I'm not trying to shove it down your throat, Pause. But S-Craft Studio is back at it again with their really cool custom artisan keycaps. As you can see, they're super well-made, very intricate with a lot of details, all in a tiny keycap that can be the new centerpiece of your keyboard. From the big three, they're making a Mega Blastoise, a Mega Venusaur, and a Mega Charizard Y, as well as some other ones like Jirachi, Lapras, Sylveon, and a Moonball artisan cap. And they start at just $38. I love special artists and keycaps like this, and it's really cool to blend two of my really big hobbies with tech and Pokemon into one now. I'm sure a lot of you, if you're around my age, you also grew up with Pokemon, so being able to add a cool custom piece like this to your keyboard, it's definitely a nice touch and a nice accent piece to the keyboard. These will be on sale next week, April 13th. I'll drop a link to their site down below. But any Pokemon fan's gonna wanna hop on this. They usually sell out really, really quick. But again, I wanted to show it off because I know a lot of you out there are keyboard enthusiasts. That's a major part of the channel. So I figured why not let the worlds collide? For under 50 bucks, a super detailed Pokemon keycap like this is definitely gonna be a nice pickup. A great gift idea for a friend as well, might I add. Then lastly, we all know about the Apple Vision Pro. What about the Bocor Vision 5? <laughs> This probably isn't what you're expecting, but also it could be exactly what you're looking for. If at the end of the day, you just wanna wind down, relax, and release some built up tension from the day. All right, that's, that's way too many innuendos, innuendos. That works. But the Vision 5 is an acupressure massage mask with the five different built-in massage modes. Not only does this pulse and massage your face and temples, but it also adds some heat to the massagers to really get a nice massage going. Built in are 12 nubs that pulse to whatever mode you have it on. Then you have these two larger U-pads that sit on the outsides of your eyes. And really, to wind down at the end of the day, or if you get a lot of tension, headaches, or migraines like I do, having that heat and the massage element to this really, really helps out with that. It's also Bluetooth compatible, so you could hook this up to your phone and play some music, whether that's just some music you wanna to listen to, or if you wanna have some like zen ambient soundtracks going on to even help you relax some more, you can. Even though you can't really tell from the super polished mirror finish on the outside, you can actually see through. Inside, there are two cutouts for your eyes where it is sort of like that two-way mirror approach here. So if you're doing things, you can actually see what you're doing. How many fingers am I holding up? Hey! So if you wanna be a sci-fi Ray Charles while getting a massage, the Vision 5 could be a pretty good pickup for you. 
I know it might not be what you thought, hoping for like a VR or an AR headset, but again, if you want to wind down with a nice face massage, this could be a nice little pickup for you. Am I showing my age that I was actually kind of pumped to get that in? Now, like I was saying before, with the prices fluctuating, I last checked it was $65. When I bought it, it was on sale for 50. I'm not intentionally buying things that are different from what the price is. I promise you, when I bought it, it was $50. So keep an eye on this if you do want to pick it up for $50. I assume it goes on sale pretty frequently because that's what it was when I picked it up. But guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech under $50 for the most part for April. Hope you all enjoyed. Like I said before, all the tech will be listed for you guys in the description down below so you can check it out. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on all social at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.